Well, now that we have that commitment, uh, maybe I'll try again. <laughs> Did you vote for Prop 22 in California? Yes or no? Congressman, I am sitting here before you today <laughs> to talk about the Department of Labor and our work at the Department of Labor. You're asking me about a vote I took in a, you know, in, in, in a, at, at a time where we, you know, we have secret ballot votes in this country. I'm not trying to say that, that I, you know, like okay. one way or the other. I'm just saying we are here to talk about Dharma. I offered a little while ago to say I'm happy and eager to work with you on the many issues that you raise that you're saying Californians continue to face. Well, uh, excuse me, things. Acting Secretary Sue, okay. this is an oversight hearing. So I think we okay. can judge what issues are relevant to our oversight function. And you just committed to my colleague that you'd give yes or no answers. Then you refused the clearest yes or no question that you could possibly uh, give an answer to. So do you want to try one more time? Wait, Congressman, I just, I really answered, am not trying Mr. to avoid Chairman, it. Mr. Chairman, point of order. I, you've, you've asked that question. All right, at least I'll move on. I, I, let's go on times. to the... Uh, I also just want to clarify, because I am a person of my word. I did not say you would always get yes or no questions. What I said explicitly about that is that not every question is a yes or no question. I'm going to give you the most accurate answers that okay, I can. I've I appreciate been endeavoring that. to do that for as long as we've been sitting so here. So let's go back to, the, to uh, the issue of the joint employer rule. Uh, you said okay. it's not on your agenda right now, right? That is correct. And so are you not planning on doing any changes to the joint employer rule during your tenure as Secretary of Labor? I pledge to follow all of the rules of the Department of Labor, of this body, of oversight. We will not do a rule that, we, that, that, we, that we're not clear, that we haven't followed the rules to do. I said at the very beginning, we are deliberative when it comes to rulemaking. We engage stakeholders. OK, I didn't sure ask about engagement with stakeholders or anything like what? that. What I asked was, are you planning to do any changes to the joint employer rule, yes or no? We do not have a plan to do that. It is not on our agenda. You, can you commit to not making any changes to the joint employer rule as Secretary of Labor? Well, what I, this is why what I'm saying is that is that I commit to following all of the rules of rulemaking, mm -hmm. everything that we're required to do. I pledge to you that we will do under my leadership, under my tenure at the Department of Labor. I can't sit here at this moment and tell you with certainty everything that's going sure. to happen, but okay. I will follow you every single You were also asked uh, by uh, Mr. Banks about uh, the child labor crisis that we're seeing. And at your confirmation hearing, uh, Senator Romney brought this up as well, a 70% increase. And he asked you, was that communicated to the White House prior to this year? Is that something you've communicated to them? This is a major, major problem. And your answer was, I don't know the answer to that question. You said you didn't know whether that had been communicated to the White House, what a problem this child labor crisis was. Uh, do you remember now whether you communicated that to the White House prior to this year? Did you say prior to this year? Correct. I don't know. I don't know. that. I, I will say that we have, um, there is an interagency task force that the White House um, put together and put the Department of Labor in charge of. We, I am proud to play that role. It's a really important role. We are in conversations about how to address the scourge of exploitative child labor in this country. Thank you. It just seems to be like something very important that you might have wanted to let the White House know about. Um, Mr. 